Hi guys, my name's Chris Army, and welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at the American Revolution database put together by myself and Work the Space, aka Jack. Now, Jack came up with the idea for the. Now, Jack came up with the idea for the database. I went into the editor and did the bits he wasn't comfortable doing, and it sort of grew from there. But the main idea of the database is that the American League system has been revamped. There's a new American Revolution, and the media and you know the world is watching. Basically, everybody's excited. There's the rebirth of the New York Cosmos. There's the introduction of the New York Infinity, which is their rival club. Um, it's a new club, and basically. They're in the fifth division of America. There's a promotion and relegation system. And the sort of challenge for the database is to take those clubs and make them the best in North America. So you don't have to play that. You can play other teams. You know, you can do what you want, but there's no draft or anything like that. There is there's no MLS. All the names have been changed for the divisions. There are new sponsorship deals. And basically America is going on, you know, <clears throat> going into a real prosperity period for the football uh, side of sports. There's a new interest reinvigorating the league system, and this is the result. So, as you can see here, I've got the American Revolution 1.1 zip. The links will be down below in the description. There'll be a link to the Reddit page where you can give feedback. You can give feedback here uh, on Jack's channel. I'm sure he'll do a video about this as well. There'll be uh, links to our Twitters as well for myself and Jack. So you can get in contact, give us feedback, give us constructive criticism, and uh, just keep up to date with any future versions of this database and other databases that might come along. So if you unzip the American Revolution 1.1, you get this folder. So you open this up. And as you can see, you've got another American Revolution folder inside. That's all the installation files. You get a nice little ping, nice little header graphic, and then you get the README. So we'll just resize this README slightly so that you can see everything well that's pretty much everything it's not quite but there's a little bit of story explaining the idea behind it then a little bit more about what it is the insta installation and then you know thanks from us so that'll teach you how to install it but in case you haven't quite grasped it so this DBC file is the database itself. It'll contain all the information you need to actually play. This goes under the editor data folder in your sports interactive folder, which is under your documents. So documents, sports interactive, football manager 2013, and uh, editor data folder. Now this folder, open it up. Drag these three folders in to your graphics folder, which will be, you know, again, documents, sports interactive, football manager 2013, and then graphics folder. So you put those underneath the graphics folder. It contains the kits for the New York Infinity and for the uh, New York Cosmos. So that's Cosmos Away kit, that's the home kit. That's the New York Infin Infinity Away kit, and that's their home kit. So, quite nice kits. You know, Jack did a lot of these graphics for them. And then, of course, the logos, Cosmos and Infinities. So, like I say, Jack did the graphics, I did the database. We discussed quite a lot of the rest between us, but it's a really nice one. You've got competition logos for the new competitions including the new cups and then oops 
we've got a lot of the old MLS kits and club logos for as much as America as we could find. So it should be a complete pack. You just load up and away to go. So like I say, you'll get this. It'll open into this. And the installation first you need there. Instructions are here. Now, as it says here, guys, please make sure you select to use the editor file when starting a new database. And then go into preferences, untick skin cache, and tick reload and confirm. There's a lot of issues otherwise with getting the graphics to work. But I'll take you through that now and just show you a little bit of the database before I let you go off and play it. Okay, guys. So we're going to fire up a game, load the database, just show you what you need to do here. So go into your full game, new career game, 13.3 update. Edit the data files if you've got it in the right position. Just change that. Just make sure it loads. So I've got quite a lot of editor files. Uh, there's only one real thing in here, which is the American Revolution database. So that's what you should see. Everything else here is just like new cities, journalists, media, name fixes, and other things to add a little bit of sort of realism. Now for this, I'm just going to untick all of them. Take the American Revolution and away we go. So you just click confirm and that will take you onto the next screen. We're going to reset all this and just go for the United States League. New game. I'm going to play on a large database here and I'm going to get everybody in North America that I can. So. You know, your computer will probably handle that. It's just 20,000. My computer could probably handle a lot more. Let's go a little bit more crazy. And just get everybody I can from South America again. There we are. Two and a half stars for 55,000. So that's what you're looking for, guys. Um, you can add key staff and add players to playable teams if you like. Because there aren't any players actually at the clubs in this version. I'm not sure if there will be. I like having a blank slate. Using real players. If you untick that. If you do something like that guys. You'll get a full team of players and you know staff. But for now. We're not going to add players. We're just going to go in and have a quick look around. And see how things stand. So, here we go. Okay, guys. Well, the database is loaded up, so let's jump in. See, so you got the leagues under here. Now, FM likes to rename stuff, so you know, you'll have to make sure you clear out the fake LNC files and the edit and DDT folders under the databases. You can Google that. If you look for the real name fix, it'll teach you how to sort of get rid of all the fake stuff. So it will be set up properly in the future. But for now, it's just something we're going to have to deal with. And, you know, it's not a big problem. It's not a priority. The first thing we're trying to do is get game balance in. But as you can see, we've got some fun clubs in here. And then right in the bottom, you've got the New York Cosmos and you've got the New York Infinity. Now, as you can see, average and basic facilities, adequate, minimal. They're supposed to finish quite low down in the first season. You know, they're valued quite high because the stadium is actually quite good and has the potential to be very good for both clubs. Um, so all in all, it's not too bad. But, you know, we made them sort of low down. In one in version 1, it was quite easy to get promoted with them. So this might be a little bit of a more challenge. 
So we're going to have a look at the Cosmos. As I said, no players there whatsoever. But that's okay. We don't really need to worry about that. What we need to make sure is everything else is set up right. So you can see the kits and the badge displaying nicely. They're in the Pepsi National Division. So let's have a look at the staff. Well, Chairman of the Cosmos, of course, is Pele. Managing Director, yours truly. And a director, Eric Cantona, because he is involved. We've added some basic, and I do mean basic, staff. You've got a manager in there to begin with, an assistant, a coach, a head physio, and a chief scout. Now, these are quite random, and, uh, you know, I know who a couple of these people are in the cosmos. And, uh, yeah, I think with Pele in charge and Canton, I know they can go to some of their friends and former players and fans of the Cosmos would come in. So, that's quite good. I quite like that. So, you can see here, Legends of Pele, they've got a rivalry with the Infinity and the Red Bulls. So, that's quite good. You can see here, reduced stadium capacity. And uh, average, basic, you know, it's all pretty much decent to start with. Thanks to Pele, the Cosmos do have an affiliation with Santos. They are the their feeder club. So the Cosmos do have a financial link, a merchandising link. So that might prove useful. That might prove useful. So I think that's all to see with the Cosmos. We're going to jump on over and have a quick look at the Infinity as well. Just to see what you're getting for both clubs, guys. See, it's a nice badge. Jack made. The kits, you know, they look pretty good. It's very similar stuff. Here, you've got George Weir as the chairman. Jack picked the chairman. Um, because I added myself in as managing director of the Cosmos, I've chucked Jack in as the managing director over at the Infinity. And then the director here, Diego Maradona, I thought if Pele's at one club, let's amp up the rivalry a little bit more. Let's put Maradona in. So again, you know, this team don't actually have a manager right now because I know Jack's going to be playing as them. And uh, so I thought we'd, uh, we'd go without the manager for one club. But again, it's an assistant. You know, it's a pretty decent assistant for the level you're in. Then you've got a coach, uh, a head physio, and a chief scout. So it's all pretty similar. I mean, there's a couple of famous players there. But uh, all in all, you know, most people have got caps for their countries when they come to play for these clubs. So it's really nice. It's a good starting place for you guys, and I think you'll enjoy playing in this database. So here you can see FC New York as a local rivalry. We'll probably add that in for the Cosmos as well. But the historic rivalry with the Cosmos and a local rivalry then with the Red Bulls as well. It's pretty much the same stadium. It's a, you know, it's a different stadium, but... You know, they've each got separate stadiums, but they're both built pretty much the same. The Infinity have got slightly worse sort of resources to work with at the start of the game than the Cosmos, reflecting the history of the Cosmos, really. Um, no affiliated clubs. They do have an affiliated club in Beijing, but, you know, the database hasn't picked that up yet, which is a shame. But all in all, guys, those are your two clubs. Those are your starting points. You can go whoever you want. You can go the, the Fusion. I mean, they've got a badge. It's pretty much the same all the way across, though. You know, in terms of players and staff, everybody's probably got no players in this division. I'd be pretty surprised if anyone did have a lot of players. Yeah, a couple of people got one or two. As you move up the divisions, of course into the second division you've got more chance of getting more players and then of course the old MLS the new Adidas Super League you've got 
quite a lot of players. So this is the club you're all looking to take down at the end of the day. The Red Bulls are the number one New York team. You're looking to change that with your clubs. And hopefully you'll be able to do it. As I say, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a long, hard roll. You are pretty much sort of uh, chasing down the second best team in North America. And you guys, I believe, you know, those are my recent managed teams. Um, but as you can see, 17th and 22nd. Now that is out of 22 teams. So you're looking to sort of avoid those. Now the first two teams from each division go up. The third and fourth teams, well, they will play off against the uh, bottom couple of clubs. You know, two go up, two go down. Then the next two in each division sort of go into playoff to see who actually gets that spot in the higher league. And that's how it works all the way down up until you get to the Adidas National Super League, the NSL. That is actually supposed to be the Verizon, uh, I believe that's the Verizon National Championship. And then you've got the Pepsi Elite Division, the Premier Division, and then the National Division. Now, the other thing I'm going to take a look at is these cups, because you've got, the Lamar Hunt Open Cup, but it's been renamed the Budweiser Cup. Again, that's another fake link coming into play there, unfortunately. Um, but that is open to, I believe, all teams. And then, much more of a sort of League Cup, you have the Mountain Dew Cup. That is for everyone, I believe, outside of the Adidas National Super League. So you've got two cups, you've got five divisions, promotions and relegations. It's all pretty much simple to understand, I believe. You've got three players trained by a club in the United States, have to be in your match squad. You've got, when you're registering your squad, you need a minimum of one under 21 player. So you need to have a only a small look, but you, know, you need to have that look towards the future. 25 players, free transfers can be actually acquired at any time, but there are a couple of registration windows, and uh, it's all pretty much simple, guys. So, it's a rebuild, a rethink, and a revolution of the American leagues. I hope you'll enjoy playing it. As I say, give feedback to myself and Jack, and uh, we'll continue to develop this until... We've worked out all the bugs and got the balance right. So it's not too easy and it's not too difficult to actually work your way up from this division, from the national to the premier, then up to the elite, into the championship before hitting the Super League and declaring yourself the best in North America. So hope you give it a go, guys. Let us know what you think and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Until next time, guys, I've been Chris Ormy, and as always, take care of yourselves.